My name is Susan Boyle. I'm nearly 48, currently unemployed but still looking. And I'm going to sing for you on Britain's Got Talent today. <laughs> That's nervous. Yeah, sure, no. Yeah, well, that... I'm trying to be a professional singer. And why hasn't it worked out so far, Susan? I've never been given the chance before, but here's hoping it'll change. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. We're getting some breaking news. Coming into the situation, news are reporting that Michael Jackson, 50 years old, the king of pop, has died. Uh, a very, very sad moment. for Africa. is in the middle all alone. If Fernando Torres can find him, it's stabbed away uncomfortably to Fabregas. Surely now, surely now, Spain have won the World Cup for the first time in history. Find out where he is. If we find him, we can end this. I say we jump now! President Obama's campaign headquarters in Chicago. They're dancing over there at campaign headquarters. CNN projects that Barack Obama will be re-elected president of the United States. He will remain in the White House for another four years. I have just called President Obama to congratulate him on his victory. His supporters and his campaign also deserve congratulations. I wish all of them well, but particularly the president, the first lady, and their daughters. Whether you are vote or not, I have listened to you. I have learned from you. And you've made me a better president. I return to the White House more determined and more inspired than ever about the work there is to do and the future that lies ahead. We could do it, you know. Take off, live in the woods. They'd catch us. Well, maybe not. We wouldn't make it five miles. Yeah. Shall offer up in tribute one young man and woman between the ages of 12 and 18 to be trained in the art of survival and to be prepared to fight to the death. This is the time to show them everything. Make sure they remember you. Open Gangnam Style.
I've been called out by everybody for the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. I guess they want to see whether or not it's my real hair, which it is. Let's go, ladies. <laughs> Nate, Ellen, Barack Obama, who else? Chris <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Hey, I'm Demi Lovato, and I'm doing the Ice Bucket Challenge for ALS. One, two, in support of Lou Gehrig's disease, and you all have to donate. You have to go to www.alsa.org. Slightly different. Uh, instead of doing one bucket of ice, what I'm going to do, I found this. It's called Blue Ice Vodka. It's for a good cause. Smirnoff Ice. Well, I challenge. Really? <laughs> no, really? I went down my butt crack. Today we're going to be doing the official iPhone 6 Plus bend test. Now normally I wouldn't do a video like this, but I woke up this morning and saw a number of reports claiming that the iPhone 6 Plus was bending inside of people's pockets. So I decided to pull mine out of my pocket. So without further ado, 
let's get into the iPhone 6 Plus Ben test. Ebola, its own discoverer, calls it a spectacular virus, one of the most lethal, and now out of control in West Africa, according to Médecins Sans Frontières, where the deadliest outbreak on record is spreading like wildfire. And it is gruesome. Most of those who get it will die through uncontrollable bleeding, as hundreds are now succumbing in Guinea, Sierra Leone, and Liberia. As President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf calls this a national emergency, health ministers from a across the continent are urgently gathering in Ghana right now to figure out how to try to combat this crisis. Just today, the Red Cross was forced to suspend its operations. Hey, listen, during the last few days while I was out here dancing and entertaining the world, there's been a controversy happening. I've waited a few days to talk about it, to let the emotions die down. It's finally time for me to break my silence. I see white and gold. <laughs> I know there are people out there that say they see blue and black, and those people are crazy. Yeah. Who sees blue and black? Yeah. Who sees white and gold? Yeah. The whole world is divided about the color of the dress. Taylor Swift said she thinks it's blue and black. So does Justin Bieber. Uh, Kanye West sees white and gold. Kim Kardashian sees blue and black. It's tearing apart friendships and families. On that horrifying night in Paris, police have now confirmed at least four attacks in the city of Paris tonight. One at the Stade de France, where there was a major soccer game between France and Germany. The French president, Francois Hollande, in attendance. The AP reporting there were suicide bombers outside the stadium. You could hear it right there as the game was going on. Two more attacks in central Paris in the 10th and the 11th arrondissements at restaurants in that area. Gunmen with Kalashnikovs reported and killing several on the scene and the most horrifying attack of all at the Bataclan concert hall where an American heavy metal band was playing tonight. Hundreds inside, several hundred were held hostage for a period of time and now the AP is reporting that at least 100 have been found dead inside that concert hall. Two attackers, according to French police, also have been killed. I want to go to our Louise Duas, who's on the scene there right now. What is happening?
United Nations is asking for 48 hours of relief in the fighting to break a break from the violence between the government regime and rebel forces. In five years of war, more than 250,000 people have lost their lives. That includes 4,500 children in Aleppo alone. Millions more displaced without a home. Now that includes Omran. And what strikes me is we shed tears, but there are no tears here. He doesn't cry once. That little boy is in total shock. He's stunned inside his home one moment and the next lost in the, fl in the flurry and the fury of war and chaos. At least three people were killed by this bomb in this neighborhood. This is Omran. He's alive. We wanted you to know. Was against it once it was finally negotiated and the terms were laid out. I wrote about that in. You called it the gold I, I standard. About, well, I hope you called I, it the gold standard of trade deals. You, you know said what? it's the finest deal you've ever seen. No. And then you heard what I said about it, and all of a sudden you were against it. Well, Donald, I know you live in your own reality, but oh, yeah. that is not the facts. And look at her website. You know what? It's no different than this. She's telling us how to fight ISIS. Just go to her website. She tells you how to fight ISIS on her website. I don't think General Douglas MacArthur would like that right, too the much. Next, the, next, the next segment, we're continuing well, the subject of Well, at least I have a plan to fight ISIS. Prosperity. No, no, you're telling the enemy everything you want to do. No, we're not. See, you're no, telling the not. enemy everything we you are, want to do. Folks, no wonder you've fighting. been fighting, no wonder you've been fighting ISIS folks. your entire adult life. Folks, well, that, that's me, a, that's, let, go to the, please, the fact checkers, get folks, to work. When you talk about apology, I think the one that you should really be apologizing for and the thing that you should be apologizing for are the 33,000 emails that you deleted and that you acid washed. And then the two boxes of emails and other things last week that were taken from an office and are now missing. I didn't think I'd say this, but I'm going to say it. And I hate to say it. But if I win, I am going to instruct my attorney general to get a special prosecutor to look into your situation because there has never been so many lies, so much deception. There has never been anything like it. It's just not true. And so please you, oh, go you didn't to delete them? You Allow her to respond, please. For personal emails, not oh, official. 33,000? Not, yeah. well, we turned over 35,000. So oh, yeah. it was. What about the other 15,000? Uh, please allow her to respond. She didn't talk while you talked. Yes, that's true. I didn't. Because you I didn't nothing in to the say. first debate. And uh, I'm going to try not to in this debate because uh, I'd like to get to the questions that the people have brought here tonight uh, to talk to us about. And get off this question. Okay, Donald, I know you're into big diversion tonight, anything to avoid talking about your campaign and the way it's exploding and the way Republicans are leaving you, but well, let's, let's, let's at least focus on some response. of the let's issues see what happens. that people care about tonight. You know, it is, uh, it's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. <laughs> Clinton has called Donald Trump to concede the race. Donald J. Trump is now President of the United States. President Obama is the next president. And Mr. Trump, for the moment, steps away from the United States. It's a great honor to be able to introduce for the first time ever anywhere the 45th President of the United States of America.
This song goes out to all the spinners out there. Just keep spinning. <laughs> Let go. I love fidget spinners from my head to my toes. I even love them spinning right here on my nose. Got one on my left, another on my right. I'll be out here spinning from the morning to the night. Hold up for a minute and just watch me as I spin it. If you want a smoothie, then just holla and I'll blend it. Paste some greens, colored beans, butter, lettuce, spinach. Cup about a hundred of the fidgets that keep spinning. Custom fidget spinner, so you know that no one's got them. I toss one in the air and just catch it from the bottom. Got these fidget spinners and they spin it all around. If I pick one up, then you know it's going down. Hey! I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment and I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. So what we came across that day in the woods was obviously unplanned and the reactions you saw on tape were raw, they were unfiltered. Uh, none of us knew how to react or how to feel. I should have never posted the video. I should have put the cameras down. and stopped recording what we were going through. There's a lot of things I should have done differently, but I didn't. The entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. To wipe out half the universe. He can do it with the snap of his fingers. Thanos. Humanity will still exist. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. It's the planet's ultimate game. The final of the 21st Football World Cup. Flicked in by Griezmann. Mbappe. Griezmann. Pogba. Pogba! Here's Mbappe. Oh, my word! The first teenage World Cup final goal. We're following some sad news from the music world. EDM star Avicii has died. He was found dead in the city of Muscat, Oman. Avicii, born Tim Bergling in Sweden, was considered a pioneer of electronic dance music, also known as EDM. He retired from touring in 2016 due to health issues. As a DJ, he sold out worldwide arenas with hits like 2013's Wake Me Up. Wake me up.
start over, shall we? On my way down, coordinate search and rescue. On my way down, to coordinate search and rescue. I mean, honestly, how do you think your food Shut up.